Eh, ciao a tutti farmers, I hope you're doing well. This morning we plowed the brina because we are prepping for the summer garden. The garden preparation that is going to develop from mid-March until September and let's say October has finally begun. The first thing that we have done is to plow the field and this is where a node needs to be made right away. This morning we are plowing. Now, a year ago I had my own opinions about plowing and I still have them actually. I prefer subsoling to plowing. Because it is true that plowing has a number of downsides. In the last year, however, I have been studying and discussing a lot with various experts, several academics, a number of agronomists and some local farmers. And what came out of was that plowing is a practice that can and should be done, especially on soils like ours that go about compacting on uh, horticultures about every two years or so. No more than that. Sometimes the subsoiler is not enough. Sometimes you really have to break up the soil more, as is the case with us. However, we are doing an experiment on a area of the garden in which we did not use the subsoiler. Instead, we planted other plants and we are directly going to grow vegetables. So far, so good. We still have to see how this reacts when lots of water gets into the soil. This is the problem that we are having right here. I have to say also that it's very difficult to find a subsoiler here in the area because they tend to plow a lot. We plow about uh, 30 centimeters. We don't go down beyond that. So we're going to flip the soil basically. This is because the soil was cultivated last year the plan is to skip 2024, plow the soil in 2025 and maybe just to do a subsoiling in 2024. We are also going to work on the other part of the land, which is going to be the other part of the garden. Now before someone says, oh the cabbages, you're throwing stuff away. You see, it's all stuff that is practically frozen, so this stuff can't be sold anymore. So as a solution, as you see, we're having it buried as organic matter. So the basic fertilization has been done. However, we're going to bury more organic matter. It looks like it's not going down because the soil is slightly wet. However, uh, look, we have a really, really, really spectacular level of organic matter. We need to do the analysis, don't we, Fede? We need to be sure because yes, we say it's organic matter, but we don't know exactly by how yeah, much. We, we need, need to, to do the analysis. We need to do it. It looks very good. It looks good, but we must be sure. That is to see exactly how much there is. We had to turn here. Yeah, he turned here. He will go back and do another sweep. That's because we have the pipes on the ground. We probably have to turn the system upside down here. Hey, the farm is growing, huh? And we are out of space because we don't have enough land. We have to farm, huh? Last year we have a lot of space and this year we're losing all of it. What do you say, Fede? Whole concrete. What? That's nonsense. All of this will be cultivated. Over here there will be the new garden. Later we need to ask Fede what we are going to plant here because we have it all written down. So, um... This land is drier, 
If you remember exactly one year ago, everything was basically just brambles and other stuff. We cut it all off and we left the land uncultivated. And this year we're cultivating it. At first glance, the soil is not that bad. So we'll see. We will have to do the analysis to see how much organic matter there actually is. For sure, the color is very different from the other one. We are still missing the 10 tons of compost, which we don't have yet. Now let's figure out how to apply them. And for now, we'll just Wow, guys, I have to say that we are really stepping up this year, huh? Man, there's a lot of work to do. I'm really happy about this. We just pulled out a rock that was stuck onto some roots and got caught onto the plow. And look at what's left on my hands. This is pretty much all clay. Look what's left. That's why I'm reconsidering plowing at least twice or three times. After that, there will be time to do subsoiling, but it's not necessary to do the plowing three times a year, like some people do. There must be a balance. But... Look, look at that, guys, look at that. Here the soil is compacted. It's still full of roots, even though we worked it. It's very difficult, guys. It really is. Here, we've been repointing. It's true, we haven't dug down too much. But on such new soil, repointing for horticulture like this is not enough. Guys, let me say this. The more I learn about agriculture, the more I realize that I have to study a lot. You can't just have a fixed set of ideas. You need to adapt to your soil. For example, this soil here is very different from the one at the Podere. At the Podere, the soil contains lots of rocks and debris, whereas here it's basically all clay. We call it the Marze, which basically means marshes. So the soil tends to compact a lot and it gets harder and harder every time. It's very challenging, guys but it's very, very rewarding. Look, since the soil was cultivated, now it's a lot easier to plow. You know that this has been worked on since... Also, this is because this soil is much drier. It will be very interesting to compare the stratigraphy between the two soils. The other one is Dhaka because of the 10 tons of compost that we had brought. Here it's not so dark, but anyway the result is, is very good, I will say. I remind you that here we cut down everything, so everything at the Brina, from here onwards, so anyway, we have plenty of organic matter. And we also fertilized, so we achieved quite a lot. Now Mauro is going to sweep the last section, which is the headland, that is, the horizontal section, so that we can work properly, look. Hey, 
It's much more difficult now because there are so many roots here. We should go and get another excavator to remove more stuff. We also need the excavator for another ongoing project. Hey, he's struggling now. It's the cherry tree. It's in the way. Good. Oh no, no. It looks like he wants to do a second sweep. I never tell Mauro anything because I tell him to do a nice job and he does. He already knows what to do. Okay, so... It's 10.30, in two hours he has plowed everything. Of course, that's because the soil is uneven. Great, listen, we... Do you think it's nicer? Yes, of course. If it goes well, Tuesday could be the day. Yeah. Sure. Okay, sure. So, for now, we'll just... Yeah. Yeah. Look at my hand. Look at it. It's all clay. Yeah, it gets cold and... If I fail as a farmer, I just make clay statues. If you want to stay updated in real time about what's going on, just follow me on Instagram and check out my stories. So, we are working on a lot of square meters of soil. It's around uh, 4,000 square meters. Fede doesn't think so, but we'll figure it out with uh, the images uh, from the drone. I believe that in total, with the addition of the Podere, we are around... Uh, 4,500, 5,000 total. So that will be almost half an acre of uh, horticulture. So we have much work to do. There will be lots of crops and uh, we will work as uh, Mauro suggests. So we're going to do a sweep with the grabber as soon as the ground is dry and then we'll go over with the harrow afterwards. Of course, I'll show you everything since our goal is to record and share everything that we do here at the farm. This means showing everything, mistakes, remarks and experiences from ear to ear. We have to grow. We can't have the same fixed ideas. This is to better ourselves and improve each and every day. We should remember that in life, as my grandfather used to say, it's okay to change your mind and to keep challenging yourself, questioning and learning and also admitting your mistakes. That's why you should subscribe to this channel. Leave us a like and see you in the next video. Ciao a tutti!